good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have some brand new AEW and WWE action figure news for you guys. We got some images to break down, and I do have some awesome news coming up later today. It's going to be a double upload day because we got images coming on later on today that I'm super duper excited about as long as everything goes to plan. But as you guys know, my boy Unstable1047, he's got the hookup, he's got the leaks and the inside knowledge, as well as my man Gunshow underscore toys on Instagram. So both of them have us some images today guys so you guys remember the Cody that we showed off the other day that came with the TNT championship the double or nothing in the background with the nice box and everything we didn't know exactly what this figure was going to be we didn't know all the details about it well we now know some more things about it and I'm going to put up some images now again a huge shout out to my man Christian from unstable 1047 as well as gun show underscore toys but this is going to be a ringside exclusive AEW unrivaled collection champions Cody and it is going to include the TNT championship as we discovered but it is also going to include some other things that we're going to break down we have plenty of more images to get through so let's go ahead and get into these images guys as you guys will notice in this picture here you will notice that he is going to come with three yes three interchangeable head sculpts in the package he does come with the one that of course is like kind of smiley yelly you know kind of like his his photogenic face like if he were to pose for a photo op or something like that that is the smiling head sculpt that we got he also is going to include the blood brothers two-pack head sculpt but it's not going to have any blood on it, so it's more of an angry yelling head, which looks fantastic. And then we also have his Series 1 head, which is also stuffed away as an accessory. So you get a straight face, you get a yelling face, and you get a smiling face. So I think this is great. I wish that every figure came with this. I wish every AEW and WWE figure came with all three expressions. We need a determined, serious face. We need a smiling head, and then we need a pissed off, angry yelling head. It's just, a, you know, it makes the most sense. And maybe if they have a signature head, you know, like... Ric Flair's woo head or something like that that would be pretty cool to include as well. But not only are we getting three interchangeable head sculpts, guys, we already discussed that he is going to come with the TNT Championship. It looks really good around the waist of the figure. I think it looks fantastic, but not only are we going to get the TNT title and the uh, the weight belt, if you guys can't see in the bottom right corner, it does say it, it has a weight belt, and you guys will notice that it does say Cody versus Archer, TNT Championship, AEW, nice little thing going on. It's got Pharaoh on there. It's got a snake. It looks great. I, I really like the way that looks. But outside of all those accessories, guys, we're also getting interchangeable hands as well as a Cody American Nightmare t-shirt. As you guys can see, it's going to be the gray t-shirt that says The American Nightmare. It's got Pharaoh's silhouette on it with the American flag. You got Cody standing there. What a great shirt. I think this is great, and I think even those reference images that we plugged in the last time we talked about this figure, I think that uh, that included that t-shirt as well. So, yeah, man. I mean, this looks great. I really like what we got going on. Again, the packaging looks really good. You got the champion Cody or the champion. I don't know what that says. I guess it says Champ Cody or Champion Cody. And I think it looks really good. I'm really excited for it. Double or nothing attire, purple and silver, TNT title, multiple interchangeable head sculpts, and it's going to, of course, got to include the neck tattoo. So I, I think that is absolutely excellent. Tattoo looks good. It looks pretty printed on there pretty nicely. I think it's accurate. It, it's nice and everything. And a cool thing about this figure as well is you could torso swap it and put it onto your other Cody figures. If you wanted this to be on the UK Cody or the Unrivaled Series 1 Cody, I'll probably end up ordering two of these to get the different heads, to get the different skin tones for the torso. And you guys know that we're also getting AEW Series 4 Cody coming up very soon, which is what we're going to get in with the images later, which I'll reveal. And uh, that is that Jeremy is going to be revealing AEW Series 4 today. He actually tweeted this out. I'm making this video at 11 p.m. or so, and he tweeted out not too long ago that today we will, or tomorrow at the time of recording today at the time you're seeing this video that AEW series number four images official images are coming as well as UFC images so we're not only going to get the UFC figures if you guys want to include those in the video I will but AEW series four images you guys know Matt Hardy Santana Ortiz Cody Kenny all the all the whole set there is going to be revealed to us today. So stay tuned for that video as well. We'll put up the images as soon as it's possible. But not only did we get this Cody images and the details revealed on it, guys, we have like a ton of screenshots from Amazon that I saw all over Twitter. I'm talking about Twitter was just running rampant, guys. First thing that we're going to talk about first off on this first screenshot, you guys will notice it says AEW One Figure Pack Unrivaled Figure Wave 5 Hangman Adam Page. It says AEW One Figure Pack Unmatched Figure Series 1 Cody LJN figure, 
AEW One Figure Pack Unmatched Figure Miro, and then AEW Unrivaled Figures Pop-Up Entrance Stage Amazon. So, a lot of stuff going on right here. The first thing that I'm going to talk about is Adam Hangman Page. Is it going to be in Way 5? Is Adam Hangman Page confirmed for Way 5? Who knows at this juncture? We're going to have to find out about that. But nonetheless, it's right here on Amazon. Like, it literally says Adam Hangman Page. We'll have to see about that. It's not confirmed just yet, but, you know, the I highly doubt that they would say this and it not be true. It's not like the Target app. I think we are going to be getting these figures. It's just, when are we going to get them? I think these are figures we will be getting, just not right now. We don't know what they look like. It's just sort of leaks in the line here. So, Cody LJN figure. I know that uh, this says unmatched, so I'm guessing... In Series 1 of the Unmatched Figures, Jeremy mentioned that there's going to be like LJN-style figures in the AEW figure wave, and he actually took to Twitter. I forgot exactly what he says. I'll try to bring up the screenshot real quick so we can analyze exactly what he said, because he said something about this, and I want to make sure that I get the exact thing that he said. I can't find it at the moment, but he said something about the Unmatched Series will be a way to get like older attires and like older times in the line as, as well as LJN style figures. So we'll just have to see exactly what that means, what that looks like, all of that stuff. But it looks like Unmatched Series 1 is going to include Cody. It's going to include Miro, of course, Rusev, formerly known as. And then it does look like we're going to be getting an AEW Unrivaled pop-up entrance stage. And I'm guessing that this would be very similar to the WWE versions that we got with the SmackDown and Raw. And I think that would be absolutely fantastic hopefully it's a lot more stable it has better you know better quality than that because i i tried to pick fed one episode with that and it was god awful man the stage was so flimsy it, it could only hold like one figure at a time and it was very hard to pose and the ramp was hard to pose on Hopefully it would be better than that, but we'll have to see that. We'll have to cross that bridge when we come to it, but all of these things here. But we have a ton more little screenshots. There's another screenshot. It says, AEW Unrivaled Battle Pack with John Moxley versus Kenny Omega. So are we going to be getting battle packs? Are we going to be getting John Moxley versus Kenny Omega battle packs? And, and moving forward, are they going to be the same style as Unrivaled figures? I don't know. I just don't see how anybody could make... You know, I, I don't know if the, the, the name is trademarked, though. You know, it says Unrivaled Battle Pack. Like, are they going to be able to call them Battle Packs? Is that a term that is able to be used? I'm not entirely sure. But if they're going to make a Moxley versus Omega Battle Pack, how sick would that be to see two Unrivaled figures in the same? Are they going to be the same style? Can the price point? Is that even available? I don't know. Lots of questions. I'm just providing with the screenshots, Brad. Again, I don't make the rules. I just break them. I'm just showcasing you what I see on Amazon, and this is what we got so far. We have more screenshots here. Coming up next, guys, it says Wave 4, Matt Hardy. Now, we already knew that, so that that's kind of weird that it is accurate to what we're getting in Wave 4. It also says Unmatched Figure Wave 1 Miro. We already knew about that, as I just discussed in the other screenshot. We have another one as well that says AEW One Figure Pack Unrivaled Wave 6 Chris Jericho. Now, this would make a lot of sense. I don't doubt this at all. Chris Jericho getting another series Unrivaled. You know, Unrivaled Collection figure is not outside the means by any means. He's one of the more popular superstars in all of AEW. So him getting another figure does not shock me one bit. I can absolutely see that taking place. So I would say that uh, are we going to get in wave six? Probably. I would say I would say more than likely. I think these are accurate on Amazon. This isn't Target like we saw with the Wave 3. So let's go ahead and keep going, guys. Not only do we have that, we have a Wave 7 Kenny Omega figure. So I, I think this is totally possible as well. That's three series from now. Of course, we are getting the Series 4 Omega. 5, 6, in 7. I can see another Kenny. I can see more attires, better head sculpts. Again, we already know Cody, Kenny, Chris, the Bucks are all going to be those John Cena rock guys. So that doesn't shock me at all. I can definitely see that being a thing. Another two-pack, guys. It says All Elite Wrestling two-figure pack, six-inch unrivaled figure talent to be determined. So this could be another one of those battle packs that we saw with John Moxley and Kenny Omega. Maybe it'll be the Bucks. Maybe it'll be Luchasaurus Jungle Boy. Who the hell knows, Brad? Again, it's just a listing on Amazon, which is totally confusing. Who knows if they, what name they're going to be, if they're going to be battle pack, if they're not going to be battle pack. It just says two-figure pack, but it's definitely very interesting. Another one we have here, guys, is Wave 9 Cody. Maybe this will be our last Cody until Wave 9. Because we have so many Codys, you know, the, the ringside exclusive, the other ringside exclusive, the, the freaking UK exclusive, the Series 1, all those different things. Maybe from Wave 4 to Wave 9, there won't be a Cody, so Wave 9 would actually make sense, but uh, why would you play? Like, do you think they have it mapped out on Amazon 10 Series, uh, like, in advance? I don't know. You know, a lot of questions. I'm just showing you the screenshots of this stuff, and you can do with it what you will. Now, this next one, guys, you guys will see as we pull it up here. At the bottom of the screen, you guys will see that it does say Wave 7 Kenny. It says Wave 3 Luchasaurus, and it also says Wave 5 John Moxley. I apologize for it being so damn blurry. I don't know why it's so blurry, but there you go. But it does say Wave 3 Luchasaurus with the same image we got from Target. So 
Maybe it's not accurate. I don't know. But this is what it lists here. And maybe they're pushed back a couple series. If we don't get a Luchasaurus in Series 5, I'm probably going to cry myself to sleep. So hopefully he will be in Series 5. But in this screenshot, it does say Wave 3. And then it does say John Moxley Wave 5. And then Kenny Omega in Wave 7. And another screenshot right here, guys. It does say Wave 10, Orange Cassidy. Wave 6, MJF. Wave 7, Brian Cage. Wave 3, Jungle Boy. Wave 11, Brody Lee. And Wave 9, Cody, like we discussed before. But if all of these are true, I'm guessing Brody... Brody Lee will come way before Wave 11. There's no way. That'll probably be the second Brody Lee by that time because I'm pretty sure Brody Lee should be in Wave 5 or 6 at the earliest is what I would guess. But Jungle Boy, Brian Cage, MJF, and Orange Cassidy, that would be really cool with me. Again, a lot of repeats in the line, but we are getting some first times in the line. And you got to think also in the unmatched line, we're also going to get some new talents as well. But Brian Cage would be cool. Orange Cassidy getting a second figure. Jungle Boy getting a figure finally. Again, it's not going to be in Wave 3. I would guess both of those guys are going to be in wave five jungle boy and luchasaurus have to be in wave five next up guys it says unmatched figure right here and you guys will see here this is very big news unmatched figure wave one Britt baker unmatched figure wave three darby ljn figure and then unmatched figure wave two sting so it looks like we're trying they're gonna get some sting figures in here we got a ljn darby allen we got Britt baker finally getting a figure so i mean again man these are just listings and we're just kind of throwing stuff at the wall kind of seeing what's going to come of it we don't know entirely what it's going to be just yet but it is very interesting to know and to show you guys so you guys can have an idea yourself. But outside of all that Amazon news, guys, all those screenshots that we got of all those different things and the Cody Rhodes figure, the ringside exclusive images that we got from Unstable, we're also getting our first time in the line Chelsea Green figure. And they revealed this yesterday on the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast. You guys remember we talked about there being new WWE figure images and us, be, you know, they would go on the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast and unveil them. Well, uh, this is the only figure that we got. We also got to see Ulta... Uh, Ultimate Edition Macho Man's jacket. It's going to be white with green coming off of it. But we're also getting this Chelsea Green, who is going to be the Chase variant. You have the black version, and then you have the pink and white version. Chelsea Green figure. I like what the render image looks like. I think the head sculpt looks like Chelsea Green. I like the attires. I personally like the black attire better than the, the pink and white attire. But overall, I still think both of them look good and everything like that. I want to say there was more news that I wanted to show you guys, but it's not coming to my brain now, right now. Maybe it was the fact that we are getting Series 4 images later today with AEW. We're going to put up another video on that, so definitely stay tuned for that, guys. But I think that is going to do it for today's news and everything like that. Let me know what you think of all these AEW figures, guys. Let me know what you think of the Chelsea Green figure. Again, I think he says today, he says today we are getting our AEW Series number 4. So hopefully that is the case. As soon as those pictures go live, I will... Uh, get my thoughts together and put them up for a video for you guys to see and talk about and analyze but that is pretty much going to do it for today's video guys hope you guys did enjoy stay tuned turn on the bell for your aew series four images before we get out of here let's get into our random shout out so this shout out is going to go to jonathan in lee who says edge enters the royal rumble a kid i know you edge you think you know me but on this day. So yeah, huge shout out to Jonathan N. Lee for that comment. I enjoyed that. I hearted that comment. I thought that was pretty decent right there. Huge shout out to Jonathan N. Lee. Guy, if you guys would like a future shout out in a video, leave us a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Turn on the bell so that uh, you can get a random shout out, Brad. But that does it for the news, guys. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video later today. Don't cross the line. You cross the line.